This video will show you how to make a shaving cream print. We are studying Starry Night, so our shaving cream prints will show movement with cool colors like blues and purples and spots of yellow for stars like Starry Night. You start by smoothing out the shaving cream. When you do this, I'll put shaving cream in your container. You'll take the flat part of the front of your hand, your fingers. It's important that your fingers are together. If your fingers are apart, the shaving cream comes up through your fingers and it doesn't flatten out nicely. And you waste a lot of shaving cream and you can't get as many prints. Turn your hand over. Again, just use the front part, flatten it out. And the idea is that you're flattening and creating kind of this flat pillow of shaving cream. The flat pillow is what's going to hold the color from the liquid watercolors. They're very rich in color, so they work perfect for this. If you've ever icing the cake, it's similar. It doesn't want to stay flat. It wants to stick to my hand. I'm not pressing hard. I'm going to take that extra, and I'm going to put it on the edge of my container or lid, whatever I'm working on, in one spot. Sometimes you're tempted to put some here, there, all over. No, go back to the same spot and always rub off, because then you can use that for the next set of prints you have some of yours collected there. Next thing you do is drop some paint on the surface. You're going to use a pipette. A pipette just simply has a top that you squeeze to push the air out. You release it, it opens up, and as it opens up, it sucks the liquid up into it. You need a couple of drops. The blues, there's a couple blues and purples. Again, we're working with our cool colors. What colors are we working with for the sky? Just a few. You don't want to get too much color in there for the first print because then you'll have too much when you do the second print. Space them out. They don't need to be right next to each other. It's good to have some white so you have a place for the paint to actually show some motion lines. Now you're going to take a brush and just draw through it to create some lines. The idea is not to stir the paint in the foam because if you stir it down in you lose that color and the color won't end up on your paper. I'm standing my brush straight up and down and I'm just kind of drawing through it to create some motion lines. When we studied Starry Night we see that we have a lot of that motion of wind blowing through the sky don't be tempted to do this really fast. That creates more of a stirring and it moves your color down in. It's slow and you're basically drawing through it to create these motion lines. You can do yours more if you want, but I'm pretty happy with this. I know that if I do too much, I'm not going to get the paint to go on my paper. So I'm going to stop there. After I drag through the cool colors, then I can add a couple of stars. I like to put them where I see kind of little circles that might go around stars, but you can put them wherever you want. You have to be careful to just gently squeeze the pipette so just a little bit comes out. And you're not stirring after the yellow goes in. Or you'll lose that effect of having the stars. Now before I started, I put my name on my paper and my paper can go on the chair off of the table so it doesn't get other paint on it. It's very important that when you take your paper, before you put it on the foam to make your print, you bend it up so it's bent up to look like this. The middle, line it up, the middle touches down first. I'm pressing a little bit as I put it down. I'm pressing on the paper so that it firmly goes down on the top of the shaving cream surface. Now I'm starting in the middle. Where am I starting? I'm starting in the middle so that I press all of the air bubbles out. Pushing the air bubbles out so that my color can get printed onto the paper. If there's air bubbles between the paper and the shaving cream, you'll have a blank white space instead of a printed surface. When you're pretty sure you have it all flattened out, peel a corner up. 
you will move yours to the end of the table with the trash can so that then you can squeegee Luigi it off. I'm not moving mine because I want you to be able to see it in the camera. I take the squeegee, I make sure it's clean. If it's not, I'm gonna wipe it off with a paper towel. Hold on, take the extra foam off and you'll see a nice print. Until I take the shaving cream off, I have shaving cream on the top and it doesn't have a nice clean print. Now I have a nice clean print that clearly shows some motion lines. This project is about the art principle of movement and showing movement and movement and motion line in your artwork. Have fun, make a couple of prints. Remember, name on your paper first. Paper on the chair so it's out of the way. The idea is to float the color on top of the shaving cream. That way when you put your paper on, the color's on the top and it will stick to your paper. Have fun. When you're finished, put it on the drying rack.